Okay, so let's review. Looks like I'm gonna have to go out again tonight. They even followed me downstairs and out of the building. The cop Krieger, the one that gave, that uh, illegally pulled me over, harassed me, retaliation, and uh, all that for the rear brake light, he said, uh, well, he modified his story just a little bit, but not enough that I guess the judge was going to say anything. Uh, he even brought a copy of the video of when I came to a complete stop after he had given me the ticket, based on his personal opinion, that I would not be able to come to a stop within 15 feet. He said that I skidded out of control and crashed. My ass never hit the ground. I landed on both feet. The bike fell over forward. I did not skid. I did not crash. And secondly, something he obviously doesn't know, I jammed my foot into the front fucking tire. And I didn't even bring up the video. You did. You brought false video into a courtroom. I never said I was going to use that video. I didn't bring that video into the courtroom. You did. You supplied false evidence before a courtroom. That was you, dude, not me. I also want to let everybody know that the judge was not interested in hearing my side of the story. Uh, he did not give me a chance to present my case. The video evidence that I did bring into court, he was not interested in watching it. He was interested in seeing the pigs, oh sure, but he did not want to see mine. Why the fuck not? Damn pigs trying to use my own videos against me and it backfires. And also, while we were arguing and uh, while we were in there, the cop brought up the fact that they had tried to get a stalking order put out on me. First off, that is irrelevant information. Why he even brought it up, I have no fucking clue. It's not going to cha uh, change my opinions or motivate me to do something else. The fact that you brought it up and the fact the judge didn't even bother to say, hey, that's irrelevant, I'm not listening to that. But then when I turn around and try to defend myself because of it, the goddamn judge says... Well, how exactly does that pertain to this particular situation? Well, how does that pertain to uh, the charges that you're being charged with? And I'm trying to defend myself here, and he tells me that what I'm saying is irrelevant? What the fucking cop just said wasn't? How the fuck is what I'm saying, trying to be in defense of myself, any more irrelevant than what the fuck the cop just said? Why are you attacking me, judge? The whole fucking world is against me. Delusional fantasy, huh, Lewis? Fuck. Fuck. However, what is not false video is of me in the daytime, the very same fucking day with the cop car parked right across the front of my house, when I measured the 15-foot area, even though you told me 10 feet, he was sort of truthful on that in court, even though you told me 10 feet, I measured 15 feet, my bike came to a complete stop. Now, what you think my vehicle can do and what my vehicle can do are two different fucking things. You could have easily checked it out while we were there that day. There's no See for yourselves, YouTube. Here it is. Do you want to talk to me why we're well, parked right here? I got a front brake. How do you think I stopped? Yeah, but I don't think it would be within 10 feet. That's why you're holding the video that enables the operator of the bicycle to stop the bike within 15 feet. I do believe Krieger said 10 feet. Okay, as you'll notice, I have a stick sticking up, and I also have pine cones, so you can draw a straight line from there. Stick sticking up and the pine cone in the street. This is dead center. I was able to stop within 15 feet that I was able to stop within 15 feet as per the legal requirements of the law and yet still the law fucked with me. And now back to the previous video. Even though you told me 10 feet, I measured 15 feet, my bike came to a complete stop. Now what you think my vehicle can do and what my vehicle can do are two different fucking things. You could have easily checked it out 
while we were there that day. There's no reason why we had to come down here and do all this bullshit. No, you just wanted to harass me and waste my fucking time. I put my life on the line to save other people's lives and you dare go to the DA's office to try to get a stocking order on me? Then I guess that's blatantly obvious that D. Lewis was lying his ass off, huh? They're not out fucking with me. What they're doing has nothing to do with me. That they don't even care that I film them. Hmm, then why are you bringing it up in court? You obviously do have a problem with me filming you. And I obviously do have a problem with you breaking the law. The note to Krieger would be, you obviously need to stop breaking the law. If you did not make an illegal lane change from behind me in an intersection, I wouldn't have been drawn to look at you. Hence, the camera would not have come out. You would not have been informed that audio was being recorded. The entire incident would not have been filmed. And you would not have been drug into court today. Anyway, after repacking all my stuff back into my backpack after I left the courtroom and the, I was told that uh, we would know by mail what was going to happen, uh, I'm sitting out at the big glass windows where I was filming the cop cars from. All the cops are standing around me. And after them not answering my question, just ignoring me, I salute and I walk away and only one of them saluted back. It's just a fucking game to them, people. They're going to continue to do this shit, continue to harass people, they're going to continue to ticket people for not breaking the law, they're going to continue to fuck with people, try to kill people, do everything that they've been doing, trifle over the solemn oath that they have taken to do the exact fucking opposite of that. I've got over 400 videos of hard, incriminating evidence, and they still don't learn. You have contacted the DA's office. You know what, dude? I have contacted so many more people. Let's see, for starters, uh, the mayor, six times. CNN News, once. KVAL Local News, once. The governor, Ted Kulangoski, once. Internal Affairs of the State Police Department, twice. The Register Guard local newspaper, once. Two Oregon State Senators, once each. I have contacted more people than you have. I am the one trying to stop you from breaking the law. You are trying to stop me from filming you breaking the law. Your only concern is saving your own ass. Don't act like you give a damn about the people in this town. Don't act like you care about the safety of others. And Krieger, I believe it was, pretty sure it was Krieger, dared to say that I only approached them from behind. How many times have I approached from the front? Well, you can ask Clow or Cliff or whatever her name is. I have not always approached from behind and I do not always do it at night, just like you don't always break the law at night. I'm just a man with a passion to save lives and to uphold the law. Hell, you'd almost think there'd be some kind of profession for that. But apparently not, because I don't see anything like that around here. And that one cop even dared to use the excuse that I'm standing behind them with what looks like metal or something, and they don't know if it's a gun or not, and one day somebody's going to get hurt. That sounded like a threat. One day somebody's going to get hurt. Yeah, it's probably going to be me. And then your ass is going to be grass, because I'm going to have all these followers... They know damn well that you killed me on purpose. Cold blood. When I'm ever out, the last thing you gotta worry about is a gun. My ultimate weapon is a camera. That is what you should be fearing the most. But you don't act like it. Closing note. A cop once asked me if I know the difference between the spirit of the law and the letter of the law. Well, I can tell you now. If cops went around enforcing the law to the letter of the law 24-7, pulling over everybody for every charge, they'd have a bunch of people ready to burn the cop station down. Oh, hang on. Cop car. Odd coincidence on my way home. What are the odds? 46 on the quarter panel. 46, that's 237182. Hang on.
a police officer is someone who enforces the law no matter what it is because the law is the law and it is something that the people have decided that it's something they want enforced however in the case of a cop a cop chooses what laws he wants to follow and what laws he wants to uphold which basically says that a cop decides what he wants to do when he wants to do it while he's on the clock which ultimately says that any other type of employee, if you were running a business and he was choosing whatever he wanted to do, whenever he wanted to do it, 